today I'm going to show you the tag rule to, to use as a simple way to communicate with your user as they navigate through your phone. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the Access database that we've used on several of the demos. You may have seen this in other videos. It's my bookstore database. I'm going to go to the uh, in-person sales form that I built here. Being in a mail order business, you don't do in-person sales very often, but we found the need that occasionally friends or other people who happen to hear through word of mouth that we had books uh, would want to come over, browse books and buy in person. So we created a form to, to help capture that information. Well, you don't always have the ability to train everybody that's going to use the form. So I put in some quick little instructions. So you see the, the box here, it's a label that I said instructions will appear here. Well, the minute I click over here, it says enter the customer email. The name, it says enter first and last name. And then if I continue to tab through the form, it continues to change. Enter phone number with an area code. Uh, enter the address, the city, the state of residence, the zip code, and the country of residence. Now, how did I do this? Actually, it was fairly easy, which is really a nice thing, is that I'm going to go ahead and put this in design view. Now, if I have the focus on the form, you'll notice that I have an onload event procedure here. Now, the event procedure is actually quite uh, quite easy. Uh, I dimensioned the form as a form object. I then set the form object to the form that I'm working with, form in-person sales. If I go to form message form equals label message, okay, dot caption, instructions will appear. This is my default text. So I'm setting up that default text right at the very beginning. And then, so remember, this is when the form is loaded. So the first thing that the user is going to see is the text instructions will appear here. Then now I'm just setting some variables. That combo box, that email combo box, I set the tag for that as enter customer email. I sent the text name tag to enter first and last name. And so on it goes, my city text box, my phone text box, state, address, zip, country, all of those I've given a tag to. And so now with all those tag properties set, how do I actually use them? Well, let's go ahead and look at the form again. And what you'll see now is if I click on the uh, the box to give it the focus right now, you'll notice that I've got a got focus and a lost focus event here. And if I go at the got focus event up here, it says I'm using the tag property and now I'm setting the tag as a caption. Now the caption is what shows on the label. So me, in other words, current database, label message dot caption equals the combo email tag combo box email tag okay so i'm setting the caption to the text that i already set actually down here where it says enter customer email so that's all i'm doing here is just setting the tag when i get the focus on that field now when i lose the focus on that field that was just below here when i lose the focus i change the label caption back to instructions will appear here. Okay, there we go. If we go down below here, you can see that I've got a got focus for the address and then I, a lost focus for the address and on and on all of the others ended up down here where uh, when I created them. So that you've got a got focus and lost focus on each field, setting the tag, the appropriate tag to that field. When the person navigates to it, sets the focus on it to enter that text. They've got some quick instructions. When they leave it, they either get the next instruction or they get it set to a default, um, which uh, allows them to know that instructions will go there if they're available. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you uh, can find some use in it. I thought it was really useful to let my users know a little bit along the way of filling out a form. 
And so if you liked what you saw here, hit that like button for me. And please subscribe so that we can continue to grow the channel. And look forward to seeing you later. Thanks.